Welcome to Success Keys TV. Information is the key to transformations. Therefore, if you are not updated you're outdated. In this video we will learn about where to focus your thinking. If you are new here, please subscribe or now. Does every area of your life deserve dedicated, focused thinking time? Of course, the answer is no. Be selective, not exhaustive, in your focused thinking. For me, that means dedicating in-depth thinking time to four areas, leadership, creativity, communication, and intentional networking. Your choices will probably differ from mine. Here are a few suggestions to help you figure them out. 1. Identify your priorities. First, take into account your priorities, for yourself, your family, and your team. Author, consultant, and award-winning thinker Edward de Bono quipped, a conclusion is the place where you get tired of thinking. Unfortunately, many people land on priorities based on where they run out of steam. You certainly don't want to do that. Nor do you want to let others set your agenda. There are many ways to determine priorities. If you know yourself well, begin by focusing on your strengths, the things that make best use of your skills and God-given talents. You might also focus on what brings the highest return and reward. Do what you enjoy most and do best. You could use the 80 20 rule. Give 80% of your effort to the top 20% most important activities. Another way is to focus on exceptional opportunities that promise a huge return. It comes down to this, give your attention to the areas that bear fruit. 2. Discover your gifts. Not all people are self-aware and have a good handle on their own skills, gifts, and talents. They are a little like the comic strip character Charlie Brown. One day after striking out in a baseball game, he says, rats. I'll never be a big league player. I just don't have it. All my life I've dreamed of playing in the big leagues, but I'll never make it. To which Lucy replies, Charlie Brown, you're thinking too far ahead. What you need to do is set more immediate goals for yourself. For a moment, Charlie Brown sees a ray of hope. Immediate goals, he says. Yes, answers Lucy. Start with the next inning. When you go out to pitch, see if you can walk out to the mound without falling down. I've met many individuals who grew up in a household full of Lucy's. They received little encouragement or affirmation, and as a result seem at a loss for direction. If you have that kind of background, you need to work extra hard to figure out what your gifts are. Take a personality profile such as DISC or Myers-Briggs. Interview positive friends and family members to see where they think you shine. Spend some time reflecting on past successes. If you're going to focus your thinking in your areas of strength, you need to know what they are. 3. Develop your dream. If you want to achieve great things, you need to have a great dream. If you're not sure of your dream, use your focused thinking time to help you discover it. If your thinking has returned to a particular area time after time, you may be able to discover your dream there. Give it more focused time and see what happens. Once you find your dream, move forward without second guessing. Take the advice of Satchel Page, don't look back, something might be gaining on you. The younger you are, the more likely you will give your attention to many things. That's good because if you're young you're still getting to know yourself, your strengths and weaknesses. If you focus your thinking on only one thing and your aspirations change, then you've wasted your best mental energy. As you get older and more experienced, the need to focus becomes more critical. The farther and higher you go, the more focused you can be, and need to be. How can you stay focused? Once you have a handle on what you should think about, you must decide how to better focus on it. Here are five suggestions to help you with the process. 1. Remove distractions. Removing distractions is no small matter in our current culture, but it's critical. How do you do it? First, by maintaining the discipline of practicing your priorities. Don't do easy things first or hard things first or urgent things first. Do first things first, the activities that give you the highest return. In that way, you keep the distractions to a minimum. Second, insulate yourself from distractions. I've found that I need blocks of time to think without interruptions. I've mastered the art of making myself unavailable when necessary and going off to my thinking place so that I can work without interruptions. Because of my responsibilities as founder of three companies, however, I am always aware of the tension between my need to remain accessible to others as a leader and my need to withdraw from them to think. The best way to resolve the tension is to understand the value of both activities. 
Walking slowly through the crowd allows me to connect with people and know their needs. Withdrawing from the crowd allows me to think of ways to add value to them. My advice to you is to place value on and give attention to both. If you naturally withdraw, then make sure to get out among people more often. If you're always on the go and rarely withdraw for thinking time, then remove yourself periodically so that you can unleash the potential of focused thinking. And wherever you are, be there. 2. Make time for focused thinking. Once you have a place to think, you need the time to think. Because of the fast pace of our culture, people tend to multitask. But that's not always a good idea. Switching from task to task can cost you up to 40% efficiency. According to researchers, if you're trying to accomplish many things at the same time, you'll get more done by focusing on one task at a time, not by switching constantly from one task to another. Two years ago I realized that my best thinking time occurs in the morning. Whenever possible, I reserve my mornings for thinking and writing. One way to gain time for focused thinking is to impose upon yourself a rule that one company implemented. Don't allow yourself to look at email until after 10 a.m. Instead, focus your energies on your number one priority. Put non-productive time wasters on hold so that you can create thinking time for yourself. 3. Keep items of focus before you. Ralph Waldo Emerson, the great transcendental thinker, believed, concentration is the secret of strength in politics, in war, in trade, in short in all management of human affairs. To help me concentrate on the things that matter, I work to keep important items before me. One way is to ask my assistant, Linda Eggers, to keep bringing it up, asking me about it, giving me additional information in reference to it. I'll also keep a file or a page on my desk so that I see it every day as I work. That strategy has successfully helped me for 30 years to stimulate and sharpen ideas. If you've never done it, I recommend that you try it. 4. Set goals. I believe goals are important. The mind will not focus until it has clear objectives. But the purpose of goals is to focus your attention and give you direction, not to identify a final destination. As you think about your goals, note that they should be clear enough to be kept in focus close enough to be achieved helpful enough to change lives those guidelines will get you going. And be sure to write down your goals. If they're not written, I can almost guarantee that they're not focused enough. And if you really want to make sure they're focused, take the advice of David Belasco, who says, if you can't write your idea on the back of my business card, you don't have a clear idea. Even if you look back years from now and think your goals were too small, they will have served their purpose, if they provide you with direction. 5. Question your progress. Take a good look at yourself from time to time to see whether you are actually making progress. That is the most accurate measure of whether you are making the best use of focused thinking. Ask yourself, am I seeing a return for my investment of focused thinking time? Is what I am doing getting me closer to my goals? Am I headed in a direction that helps me to fulfill my commitments, maintain my priorities, and realize my dreams? Thank you for watching our videos, we would like to give another interesting videos like this. But before that, our team will be happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social networks. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily content and inspiring videos like this. We would love to hear your views and suggestions. Kindly let us know what you have in the comments below. Kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell, for you to be notified the next time we upload a new video. Success Keys TV, unlock your potentials and rise above the top. Stay blessed.